now watching Chad 76 Media. Welcome to beautiful Portugal. We are at Porto Mayo. And this is KTM's new RC8C. They're track only, not road registered, homologated, track only bike. And it is the. <laughs> So we've ridden the kind of sister bike to this because this bike has been developed with Marcus Kramer. Now we rode the Kramer GP2, which had the 890 engine in um, a couple of years ago at Brands Hatch with John McGuinness. So if you want to check that review, click over there or somewhere around there. And then after that bike, they changed the engine slightly by basically lightening everything. So uh, titanium rods, different pistons, different compression, titanium valves, and they gave it more power. So this is the third evolution of that bike because they've also changed it cosmetically and graphically. So let me give you some facts and figures. So in terms of horsepower, we are looking at 135 bhp, 99 newton meters. Weight is incredibly low. It's 142 kilograms light. Now, why is it so light? Well, that's quite simple because it was always going to be a race bike. So when Marcus Kramer and KTM sat down, they didn't care about pillion comfort. They didn't care about indicators. They didn't really care about headlights. They cared about cutting in some lap times. And that's what this bike does exceptionally well. So there's no ABS. There's no cornering ABS. There's some traction control. We've got uh, anti-wheelie engine brake strategies, uh, two of, um, and two rider modes. Personally, I prefer the softer rider mode than the quite aggressive uh, rider mode. And today we've had we were supposed to have two sessions, but I've ended up doing four because I've just sneaked out a few times. But what an incredible bike to ride. It's not as radical as you may think. So today's been really hot and I'm really unfit. So there has been times where I've rolled off a bit and been lapping reasonably quickly, but just enjoying the bike, just sliding it around a little bit, pulling a few wheelies, having some fun, enjoying one of the best tracks in the world. But then when you want to go a little bit quicker, it's more than capable of doing that. You can bite the screen and you can go that much faster. And because it's been designed as a race bike, it is a race bike. This is a bike that you can go racing with. You don't need to do anything. Even little details like the fuel tank is at the back and there's like a nice little drainage plug to, to drain the fuel. We've got little protectors so the foot pegs don't damage the swinging arm if you crash. The, the bolts have already been pre-drilled so you can wire lock everything pretty simply. Um, Fully adjustable suspension, you can change the offset, you can change the high end speed, low compression, you've got remote preload, you've got Brembo style lemma brakes, you've got racing switch gear, you have got every box tick. There is nothing on this bike that you wouldn't want to have to go racing. The only thing you need is a spare set of wheels and a set of pallet stands and off you go. So have I been impressed? Undoubtedly so. It is one of the best bikes I've ridden on track. It is a huge amount of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but there's two problems, as there always is with such great news. First one is price, which I think is just under 37,000, 36,000, which is a lot of money, but you can almost forget about price because it's sold out. The demand for this bike has been so high that they've just flown off the shelves. The good news is, Kramer make a sister bike to this, which is a Kramer, which doesn't have the aero wings, a slightly different uh, fueling, slightly different shock linkage. And with the fueling on the Kramer race bike, you can delve into the fueling more, change the engine brake strategies, change the fueling strategies for the type of track you ride and get really involved as a race bike, which is uh, a little bit of a shame that KTM have sold out. It's a little bit of a shame of the price. And I know people are gonna go, well, 30 to 40,000 pounds for a, a race bike is a lot of money but then if you compare it to what you're going to do if you buy a 200 horsepower superbike which is going to be 20 something pounds then you're going to add all the bits that this has got like the dying mag wheels the full aquaponic exhaust the crash protection the race bearing the race dash the gps if you add all those bits to a thousand cc litre bike you're going to be close to thirty thousand pounds or you can just get it off the shelf get this it's already done what a fantastic idea. It's like a pre-made, pre-done race bike. It's like when you go and you buy a fixing modeling kit and you get the, this is one we made earlier. <laughs> so it's 
it's such a unique it's such an enjoyable bike to ride as i say if hopefully you'll get the opportunity to do it hopefully there's people out there who'll go wow that is something incredible it's not a 200 horsepower monster that's ripping your arms out and equally it's more than a 600 it fits in that nice category of you don't have to scream it to death like you would an r6 or a cbr and you're not scared like a 200 horsepower plus panigale fireblade bmw whatever it fits in that kind of nice balance that nice little window of usable accessible relatively easy to ride but when you want to do bike the screen you can go fast it is incredibly fast and incredibly enjoyable to ride i really really want one so please marcus kramer can you uh, send one to my house